Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Automation Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mala, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can configure our solution to working with the sorting line. So, let's go to the presentation. So, so far we have already made our application for the HMI part. We have already deployed the logic. So now it's time to configure the machine. So, if we take a look in our, just drop the pen. If we have our sorting line, okay, at the end of the sorting line, as I'm going to show you here, and you can see on the picture, okay, this part we have the bulbs, okay, we have what well, we're going to sort each of the elements or the products that we have. So, what we need to configure in this particular case is the position of or the amount of pulses that we need in order to sort the problem the, to sort the, the product so the first one is going to be for the white color okay the second one for the red and the third one for the blue so what we need to do is to define the amount of pulses that we have for the white for the red on this one and for the blue so this one probably we can figure it out which one it is but i can give you some values and then you can play with it okay but this is the configuration then what we need to configure here in the second part this box is the sensor stop that would be the amount of pulses that we require in order to make the stop of the conveyor so the sensor can detect the product and see which is the color so for that, what we have is this the sensor. We just need to count the pulses from here to here. Okay, and the value should be here. Then we have these two that are for indication. So we can see the color value that is detected and here the conveyor count. So we can see this counting up. Then the last one is this, which is the color sensor. So as soon as the product is stop, where we indicate the stop, we need to calibrate to define okay so this value is for red this value is for blue and this value is for white okay now based on the value that we have defined then we have like a small window so in case it is not aligned for what we measure okay at least it will detect as a white or red or blue so that's the idea so this is just as suggested I have some different values <laughs> so um, let's go to the application so in order to calculate for example the sensor calibration I recommend you to go to the system that we have already defined and here open the analog input part in the analog input okay you have this unit this is the value that we can introduce on the other side in order to validate which is the sensor. So let's take a look now in here. So here you can see they have 7.49. Okay, this is the value when there is no option in there. So let's have a look with blue. Okay, so as soon as I put this blue over here, you will need to try to align where the light is. So that would be the position for when the sensor stop. Okay, we have this for stop sensor. So here you should be able to see the value. The value is 68.5. So I can write it down 68.5. So we can write it down later. What I'm going to do now is to move this. Okay. So I can retrieve the product. Now I'm going to test with the red one. So we introduce the red. You can take a look on the other side in the entry. So you can put the product where the light is. And you can see here I have six. So this one is going to be 60.0. Now that we have this, let's move it a little bit. Now I'm going to introduce, for this one stops, the white. 
Okay. So have the white. I'm not going to put it over here again. Oops. There we go. So I have put the white in here so it can detect. So you can see I got 32.9. So 32.9. So as soon as we have this, these values, we can introduce over here. So this one gives me 60.0. The white gives me uh, 32.9. And the blue, what, well, 68.5, let's just leave it in there. So this is what I have for the calibration sensor. Now let's go for the stopping. I already have this value, which is the number 6. And then this is for testing. So one thing that I thought is that um, in my particular case, there is something on the... Um, Pulse is counting for the counting on the pulses, so sometimes I don't have the precise um, a stop, okay. And if you don't have the precise stop, it will cause that the reading is outside the chart, so it will detect as a no product, and the product will go. So let's just test it. So I just need to move it just one time, okay. Like this, just wait for it to finish. And let's start with it. So I'm going to introduce the uh, loop. This part, it didn't recognize the, the color. So let's try it again. Just touch this sensor. J recognize okay so let's try it with the red and it didn't stop in there and there we go so let's try again with the blue it didn't recognize it again As you can see in here I'll just show you there you have the switch, okay? You have the switch that allows you. So as you can see, it's counting. Even if I don't totally see this moving, and it will affect the position that I have. Okay, just for the thumb six. And this is not working, that's fine. So in my case, I have some kind of mechanical issue okay but what you need to check okay is that the position just go back here go to the presentation what you need to define here is the position that you want for each ball okay after the pulses and then you will need to calibrate the sensor that would be the best so we just need to have some kind of precise counting on the input so you can validate the color and then on the color when it's validated if it's validated you will hear that the compressor is activated okay otherwise it will not um once the compressor is activated that will give you the idea okay now the valves are going to act based on the color sense okay so this is just for configuration of the um sorting line so Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.